my name is Kim Beesom. I work at Grand Canyon National Park where I am a, a museum curator um, in the museum collection where we are a research and storage facility um, for all those different objects that tell, tell some part of the Grand Canyon story. I'm Suzanne Pierce. I'm a trainer at Albright Training Center. This is a training center for the entire National Park Service for new permanent employees who are within their first three years of employment with the National Park Service. They learn a little bit about the history of the national parks and about the culture and uh, about all the different divisions that the Park Service offers. The National Association for Interpretation was having their international conference and so people are here from all over the world who are interpreters uh, teaching people about their resources in their nations and we were invited to come to speak about a program that we're, we've been doing for the past five years about uh, working with young people to teach them how to collect oral histories uh, so that they can learn more about the resources in their area, specifically at Grand Canyon National Park in our case, and they can also then share that with others. So the National Park Service is celebrating our 100th anniversary and we're so excited to use this time to reflect on our last 100 years, where we've come from, and then think about where we are now and how we reach that next, next generation of visitors and stewards and supporters for the National Park Service. Okay. Well, at Grand Canyon, um, we're celebrating, of course, 100 years with the National Park Service, and in kind of preparation, we'll be celebrating 100 years of, of Grand Canyon being a national park in a couple years. So um, we're developing programs, um, uh, interpretive programs, uh, that involve the geology, the history, the night skies. We have incomparable night skies there. Um, um, a variety of programs to um, attract uh, youth and, um, and provide information about the park. So in the short time we've been here, um, uh, we have seen fantastic countryside, um, crazy birds that, um, that you'd think would come from Middle Earth. But we also have a lot of scenery in the U.S. that you can't see here. So where we come from, the canyon country, red rock, slick rock country, high desert, we've got fantastical plants of our own, saguaro. Um, we've got uh, country that you can't, countryside you can't see in New Zealand. So um, um, there's still some stuff out there that, um, that uh, is fun to, wa to look at and that you can see um, only, only there. The New Zealanders, if they come in summertime, they'll be coming um, at a time when maybe there's a little less visitation, um, but you'll still see um, uh, amazing scenery. Oh, it has been fabulous. I have learned so much about how uh, the Department of Conservation is managing the resources here, and I'm planning on taking that back to our uh, staff back home uh, because I talk to people from all over the National Park Service. I'm very excited to talk about how the Maori culture is so well integrated here. We have our own indigenous cultures in the United States of America, and uh, we're always looking for ways to to bring those stories forward and I, I've learned so much from the Department of Conservation in that area. Everything we see is has just been uh, exciting, thrilling. Um, coming from the desert it's always fun for us to see water so we'll be seeing um, taking a whale tour in Kaikoura and um, looking forward to that. We'll be seeing mountains in Mount Cook um, National Park that, uh, that we're looking forward to seeing so um, everything, um, any wildlife, we're looking forward to it all. Come to the U.S. US and, and find, find your, your park. park. <laughs>